Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet. This video covers how to give remote control of your computer and mouse to someone else in a Google Meet, or to take remote control of their computer and mouse. Google Meet provides a lot of ways to interact with others in your meeting. You can see other people and speak with them and text chat with them and present your screen to them. However, sometimes we need more interaction than that. For example, it would be great to be able to give remote control of your computer and mouse to another person in the meeting, or to take control of someone else's computer. This could be useful if you wanted your student to do an activity on your computer in a teletherapy session, or if you need to give or receive technology support. Unfortunately, Google Meet does not have a built-in option to give remote control over to another person. Thankfully, though, Google has provided an incredibly simple tool that can be used right along with Google Meet to accomplish this. That tool is called Chrome Remote Desktop. In this video, we're going to look at three things. First, how to install the Chrome Remote Desktop extension. Second, the normal method for using this tool to give remote control of your computer and mouse to someone else. And third, a secret trick for a super easy and fast method to use this tool that will let even the youngest student control your mouse with a single click. That's right, just one click. So first, let's cover installing the Chrome Remote Desktop extension. This is a one-time procedure, so you'll never have to do it again, and it only has to be done by the person giving remote control to their computer, not by the person taking remote control. So your student does not have to do this step to be able to control your mouse. Start by going to the Chrome Remote Desktop website at remotedesktop.google.com slash support. If you already have the extension installed, in the Get Support section, you will see a button that says Generate Code, in which case you do not have to do this step. However, if instead you see a down arrow button, then you will still need to install the extension. Simply click on the button. This will take you to the Chrome Web Store. Here you can click the Add to Chrome button, and then click Add Extension to give it permission to install. The extension will install, and you'll see a little icon in the top right-hand corner of your browser for Chrome Remote Desktop. And that's it. The extension is installed, so you are ready to go. Now, please note, to use a Chrome extension, you need to be using the Chrome Web Browser on a PC, Mac, or Chromebook. You can't use extensions on mobile devices, such as iPads or smartphones. Now that we have the extension installed, let's show the normal way to give someone remote control of your computer and mouse when in a Google Meet. Now remember, this is the normal approach, not the secret trick that I'll show after this that lets your students connect to your computer with one click. Hang on for that. For now, let's say you are the one who is giving remote control to someone else in the Google Meet. First, start up the Google Meet as normal. and have your student join you in the Meet. Now open up a new tab and go back to the Chrome Remote Desktop site at remotedesktop.google.com slash support. In the Git Support section, click the Generate Code button. This will now create a 12-digit code that you can give to anyone else in the Google Meet and they can connect to and control your computer, such as a student that you are working with. So you need to give the student two things, the web link for the Chrome Remote Desktop site and the 12-digit access code. First, simply click in the address bar at the top and copy the web address. Now go back over to the Google Meet and click on the chat button in the top right hand corner and then paste that address into the chat window. Now go back over to the Chrome Remote Desktop site and copy the 12 digit code and go back to the Google Meet screen and again paste that 
in the chat window for the student. We will now switch over to the student view. In the chat window, the student will see the link that you sent, which will open the Chrome Remote Desktop site in a new tab when they click it. Next, the student can go back to the chat and they can copy the 12 digit access code that you sent. Then they can head back to the Chrome Remote Desktop site and scroll down to the Give Support section. And here they will paste in that code into the access code box and then simply click Connect. Now we will switch back over to the teacher view and you will see a pop-up window asking you to give permission to share control of your computer with the student. Click Share to give permission to the student. Now we can switch back over to the student and we'll see that the student has control over your mouse and your computer. They can switch tabs, they can click on links, they can type content, they can drag and drop items, and more. Also, if your computer is playing audio, the sound will come through to the student. Now do note, if your computer has multiple monitors like my example does, then at first the student will actually see all of the monitors. They can fix this by clicking on the arrow on the right hand side and then going to the section called displays and then choosing the monitor that they wish to see. Again, this only applies if you have more than one monitor attached to your computer. Now back on the teacher computer, at any point, you can start moving your mouse again to take control of the mouse, or you can click the Stop Sharing button to end the session altogether. Now that was the normal long method for giving remote control to another user. Thankfully, you stuck around for the super secret trick, because you might be saying, this is fine and dandy, Eric, but I work with preschoolers or maybe with technically challenged adults. And asking them to click on a web link and then copy and paste a 12 digit code maybe is asking too much. Well, fear not, because there is a way to do the exact same thing, but only require one simple click from the student. The way it works is by giving them a special link. Here's what you do. Start the meet as normal and have the students join just like before. Next, head back to the Chrome Remote Desktop site and click the Generate Code button as normal. Now here comes the trick that you need to do. First, copy the web address for the Chrome Remote Desktop site just like normal. Go back over to Google Meet, open up the chat window, and paste that address in the chat box, but do not press enter. Just put the link in there for now. Instead, at the end of the link, type in forward slash session forward slash. Now go back over to the Chrome Remote Desktop site and copy the 12 digit code from the Git Support section and go back to the Google Meet window and paste that code at the end of the link that you are building. What you are building is a cheat link that will take the student to the Chrome Remote Desktop site, but then will also automatically create a session for them using your unique access code. This one link does all of that with just one click from the student. Let's see. We will Press enter to send the link through the chat. Now we will switch back over to the student view where the student will find the special custom link in the chat window. The student will simply click on the link and voila. The remote session is started with a single click. Back on the teacher screen, we just need to click the share button to give permission. Back on the student screen, you'll now see we have mouse control and we can interact with the teacher's computer just like before. Again, the link format is the normal website, 
remotedesktop.google.com slash support, followed by forward slash session forward slash, followed by the 12 digit access code. So what can you use this remote control for? Well, a common request I have heard is for teletherapy where students need to complete interactive activities on the teacher's computer. For example, let's say the teacher has loaded up a boom cards activity. Let's switch over to the student who has been given a remote control and the student can now interact with that activity and the teacher can see the work they're doing as they remotely control the mouse. Of course, other options include giving or receiving technical support for a problem on your computer or someone else's. Again, when you're all done, we can switch back over to the teacher view and click Stop Sharing to end the remote control. The Google Meet will still be going on, but the mouse control will be over. And all of that can be done with the student just clicking a single link that you have created for them. So those are the basics for how to give remote control of your computer and mouse to someone else in a Google Meet or to take remote control of their computer and mouse. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meet videos.